All right, another thing your essay needs to be is on topic. As in, every paragraph of your essay should carry on with the same point you started that paragraph with. And this essentially means on topic. I'll explain what this means. Turtles are creatures that live under the sea. Dogs live on the land. Turtles may go from the sea onto land to lay their eggs. They live in mostly shallow water. There's a problem here. We've got, suddenly got, for no reason, dogs. Why are they there? Well, let's just do the right thing there and cross them out because they're not needed. So we're not jumping from one thing to the next. We've now got something where the entire paragraph is about turtles and more importantly, about where turtles live, as in under the sea, unless they go onto the land to lay their eggs. But it's about where turtles live. This is acceptable. If you've got a random thing in there for no reason, then you need to cut it out, get rid of it. Might seem really obvious, but it's something that really need to do. The final feature of a essay is something which we call complex sentences. For further details on complex sentences, we're only gonna go through it very briefly here, is there'll be a video on complex sentences. So have a look at that and that will give you more information. In terms of what we're going to look at, it just means that your sentence has two or more parts. It has a main idea and it has a supporting detail or a detail that supports it. Humans need water as is necessary for them to live and stay healthy. That's our sentence. It's a complex sentence. And the reason why we can tell it's a complex sentence is for a couple of reasons. First of all, we have a main idea right there. As in, humans need water. We have a detail and we have another detail. The great thing about this bit here is this can be a full stop. Humans need water, that's a full sentence. These things here, it is necessary for them to live and stay healthy, are details which require this bit here to continue on working. So really what you should be doing is you should be stating a fact and then using your sentence to explain why it's true. So like that, so humans need water and why they need water because it's necessary for people to live and it helps people to stay healthy. In conclusion, what you need to do, and this is a checklist that you should follow. It's a very detailed checklist and it's gonna take a long time to master it. Might be an idea to write it down, have it in the back of your head. So every time you write an essay, you make these checks. First of all, that you use correct grammar. There are no contractions, no apostrophes, don'ts, won'ts, shan'ts, the rest. No colloquial language, if you can. Sometimes you use it without realizing it, but if you can avoid it, avoid it. No I, you, or we. No feelings or comments. No adjectives. You need to be specific. You need to be on topic. And you need to use complex sentences. Have that written down. Have that somewhere wherever your desk is or your study room at home. And have that as something that you check every time that you write an essay for any test that you do. Make sure you know what it is that all of these things mean. So you know exactly how to get rid of colloquial language or you know how to be specific. You know what to look for. So if you're writing something and you're not 100% sure, go through that list and that will help you a lot. Otherwise, until next time, I'll see you later.